when things go belly up, you only have yourself to blame and only yourself to cry with. So that's the whole thought on this. The most obvious is the least obvious. If you can live with it and if you can build it, then by all means jump and become an entrepreneur. Or stay in your safety net. Take your salary, go home, be happy. Have a good life. <laughs> the most powerful realization is about understanding the dispensability ratio. The world, my friend, is a graveyard of indispensable souls. You know, there's this kahawat. So if you if you go through the thought process saying, it's me, I, myself, I have built this, I am the brand. Then after that, someday, there might be a situation where you and the brand are separate. The whole thought process has to be about, are you building along with you, along with your co-founders, the next level, the next to next level, the next to next to level, where everyone feels that they own a piece of the company, where everyone feels that they're a part of the journey. This is episode number 130 of the Inspiring Talk with Binayak Parman. Welcome back inside yet another episode of the Inspiring Talk. My name is Vijay Gautam. I'm your host for this show. Each week, I interview today's most successful and inspiring personalities to help you realize your inner potential. My guest today, Vinayak Burman, runs one of the fastest growing law firms in the country, Vertices Partners. I often talk about entrepreneurship in this podcast, but I've never had a chance to get someone to talk about the things founders need to keep in mind while raising funds or working with co-founders or other legal aspects that they need to keep in mind. In this episode, we'll dive deep into the mistakes entrepreneurs make while starting up, how founders short sell their equity, and what are the lessons Vinayak learned by consulting some well-known entrepreneurs and a lot. This episode has a ton of insights that you never thought you would need to know. If you're an entrepreneur or looking at becoming one, this episode is for you. Vinayak specializes in venture capital and private equity and consults some of the leading entrepreneurs of the country. He has been recognized as Time's most influential personalities of 2021 the highest rated lawyer for private equity by Asia Law, among many other recognitions. Without further ado, let's get started. Vinayak, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much, Vijay. It's an absolute pleasure. Vinayak, I want to jump straight into this, okay? There's something really interesting that you have, you know, shared in one of your talks, which is the most obvious list. And where, you know, you say that, ask founders or people who, who run the business, ask them like, hey, who are your most obvious clients? Who are your most obvious partners? Who are your most obvious employees? Make a list of those. Tear them apart. Throw that list. And then now ask yourself, can you still build this without that obvious list? Please explain the thought behind that and the message that you are trying to share with people. So see, thanks, 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 Vijay, for that. For me, for me, that's 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 an adage that I run the philosophy with. When I say that, I'll tell you what I mean. And I was asked this, you know, I was in a, I was moderating a session yesterday as well, and at that point of time, I was asked this question again. And people said, in your life as an entrepreneur, and for me as a legal entrepreneur, the ask is always about what is your biggest high. What do you learn the most out of your biggest highs? My answer has always been, Vijay, that you learn the most from your lowest and not the biggest high. So when do I say that and why do I say that? And this comes from a personal experience. I was speaking in a particular forum and somebody asked me, Vinayak, you build something, you build something reasonably well. It's going well. It's known as one of the go-to firms for founders. It is known as one of the go-to firms in the, in the country today, in private equity and venture capital specifically. So how do you do it? Was it easy to build? Was it very easy? Could you do it? Could you explain it to us? So that's when I told them, Vijay, that it's actually very easy. And the philosophy is the most obvious needs to be the least obvious. So what do you mean by most obvious being the least obvious? So I told that person, 
that make a list of your most obvious and this is an example of our business like a services business analogy wise you can modify it to whichever business of somebody else looking at it from that perspective so make a list of your most obvious clients make a list of your most obvious teammates make a list of your most obvious support system make a list of your most obvious financiers or people who write the check make a list of your most obvious immediate fallback support system all of those because those are the cohorts that you factor in once you have that make a business plan you know one year three years five years your cash flow the management everything which is very obvious very clear and put that in a paper so then that person told me yeah i can do that that's quite easy i said fabulous have you written it down she said yes i have so i said fabulous so now you in your paper you have a list of your most obvious clients your most obvious team your most of your support money business plan things that you think will go as per the exact sequence of events he said yes i said fold it tear it throw it away so what that adage means is that when you have thought of everything that is supposed to go the way they are in your life when you take the plunge of jumping into entrepreneurship and when all that you thought of disappears can you still do it can you still survive can you still build can you still scale so when i started the firm along with my co-founders we had a whole list of these most obviouses in the first week all of them disappeared so the people who decided to join us said no we do not want to join anymore because there's no surety whether we'll succeed or not clients who said they'll come with us sandy said you know what that's not a brand it's a new startup we are not too sure whether we'll go with you people who said we'll support you with money we'll support you with time we'll support you with intangible capital sandy said sorry not there now from there to where we are today it is that we are built on the essence of saying that the most obvious is the least obvious so that's what i try to say if you are going to build and if you are going to jump into entrepreneurship the mistake that today's people bejay do is they feel that entrepreneurship is also for glamour perhaps because of the ability of how pr has come in how visibility has come in how experience in terms of being out there in the front of either the camera or some print or something else is there to say this is a very cool thing to do you know entrepreneurship is the cool quotient the external validation that you get yeah but in reality it's the toughest journey you can ever do is the loneliest journey you can do so true when when things go belly up you only have yourself to blame and only yourself to cry with so that's the whole thought on this the most obvious is the least obvious if you can live with it and if you can build it then by all means jump and become an entrepreneur or stay in your safety net take your salary go home be happy have a good life <laughs> and also i remember one of the friends who said that hey you know what? essentially what we are saying is the list of the obvious people that you have is the hope that you have and hope the belief belief that you have and hope in entrepreneurship is not a strategy it's oxygen <laughs> so i always say this vijay and i'm sure you believe that as an entrepreneur yourself we are all ever optimistic folks yeah. mm-hmm. no matter how much of fires around us and whether we are in the fire or in the frying pan we are optimistic we'll come out clear <laughs> so you have to survive on optimism otherwise it's very difficult it's very easy to sink down there are too many people trying to pull you down your hope and your passion and your belief keeps you afloat and this is something that i you know i see over and over again on a lot of entrepreneurs like being extremely optimistic and being staying positive even if they are in a mess right now where if, and do you think the optimism sometime can backfire you because everyone can see that there is no way that you're going to come back and you are the one who is saying that hey you know what i know that everything is going to get back on track it's it's a dual edged sword to be yeah. very honest it's a very dual edged sword when you know i'll tell you why bejay because you know i i say this i say this and i'm going to say this in two lines of hindi zindagi jo hai aap jiye to jiyo ilaichi ki tarah ab aap puchoge kyu hmm zindagi jo hai aap jiyo to jiyo ilaichi ki tarah ki insaan jitna pisa jaye mehke bhi utna wah so the Love whole it. thought process is you have to go down that road of optimism not just to believe in yourself but as an entrepreneur whoever is with you you are accountable for them you are accountable for the faith they have on you the trust they have placed on you and the aspect that they are there to believe that the journey and the vision that you have outlined is going to succeed so like they say you know leadership trickles from top to down so optimism is also something that has to carry on if you are not optimistic you are as it is as entrepreneurs you are not going to be paying them as best as you know the top notch 
uh, you know, the bulge brackets as they call it or the the perks that they would have had with respect to the usual. They've all come there leaving that, saying that this is a journey which is going to be different. This is a journey where we will get some kind of an experience. So in that situation, mein, optimism is core. But you made a very valid point. Optimism should not be also confused with stupidity. The reason why I say that, because you also owe it to your people to be truthful. Because if you know that all corners have closed, if you know that there is no way out, be honest. Help them go to places where they can achieve what they need to, rather than becoming a lead sinker and sinking down with them. So optimism should not be mistaken, as you said, you know, and as I personally believe, it should not be mistaken with stupidity. You have to have the thin line of difference. But the मतलब उम्मीद में तो जिंदगी का है मैं सबको पता है बट इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि उम्मीद के चक्कर में खुद खुशी को भी बोल दो बहुत बढ़िया है इतने सारे वाक्य है But before I advise them, I actually ask them why do they want to do it. Mm. The why is far more important because once you're clear that there is a reason which is beyond a whimsical decision, there is a reason which actually means. And I say this, I say this a lot to say, our entrepreneurship is like Suleimani Kira. Jo hai to hai. Jisme hai, you will not sleep till you do it. Jisme nahi hai, it doesn't matter. Yeah. so you may have the best of the jobs you may draw your eight figure salaries you may be at the top of the position but if you have that sulemani kira you'll not be able to sleep in peace i'm sure that happened with you as well before you went ahead and started your entrepreneurial journey you know vijay absolutely huh? because it's there right it's mm-hmm. all there i was a i was a partner with the largest of the largest law firms i could have very well said yeah jab hum shuru kiye the i was drawing eight figure salaries the whole world said yeah dimag kharab ho gaya iska you know why the hell do you want to start a black hole of entrepreneurship with everything being a question mark so the most important thing is why and if you have that answer if i get that comfort from the person to say yaar iska thought process clear hai the belief the passion the decision the problem that they are trying to say solve all of that is aligned that's when the next step comes in because once you've got your house in order the see people confuse legalese to be an, another thing for good reason also bejay see good good counsel doesn't come for free and therefore good counsel also comes when you when you look at it as an expense the mindset about whether it's an expense or an investment is very different that's true yeah so a lot of people believe in certain advisory services to be expense line items and then they are cutting corners to say yaar mere ko na basic up kara do tick in the boxes and then there are people who say nahi yaar i understand the value of this and therefore for me it's an investment because if my foundation is strong the building will hold stronger so in that mindset is when you realize ki bhai ye banda if he's of the latter that's where the thought process comes to how do you want to go across and advise so there are several things to go and advise a first time founder but sabse zyada important to my mind is to say that if you believe that yes you want to do something then get the paperwork in order get the vision statement in order when i say vision statement do tarike ke founders hote hain bichay founders who are absolutely solo founders independent so life is still easier because they are following a particular vision yeah. the business needs to talk then there are people who have co-founders yeah people who have two three people on the founders cap table how do you ensure management between yourselves how do you ensure that there is visibility of thought process between yourself your verticals being very clear your roles and responsibilities very being very clear a lot of people undermine or understate the importance of a founders agreement yeah when shit hits the roof is when people realize hey it was very necessary tha so i actually go across and give thoughts from that perspective ki agar aapko house in order karna hai go step by step even the best of the best institutional investors when you re- reach that level of growth capital when you're getting your institutional investors coming in they will respect this thought so i my advice is always go step by step and start ticking the boxes one by one start with the founders agreement then start with the rest of the things in terms of the business and move ahead So, from the legal, you know, standpoint, what are some of the biggest mistakes that you, over and over, observe a lot of founders or entrepreneurs make? Because you work with some of the, you know, best companies in the country today and consult them and, uh, you know, fight for them in for their rights, right? So, what are some of the things that you like? Oh my God, these are like some of the recurring dumbest mistakes that people keep on making. 
Yeah, again, you know, your questions sound so simple, but they are so deep. Mistakes are also very relative. Mm. I, I, why do I say relative? Let me explain this to you. Your choice on your mistakes is a lot based on your situation and circumstance. Why do I say that? See, a lot of people, a lot of, lot of people have told me this. And when founders meet me, very few councils actually ask them, Ki boss, what's your situation? There's a lot of depth to it. Yeah. Halat means, what's your runway? Mm. Do you have the ability to negotiate? Do you have the ability to fight? Do you have a runway which lasts a particular point of time? Or are you up in the smoke and you're running on gas and you need that money in your bank? solid document protect mindset so lawyers don't go and ask the clients especially when they are you know representing founders that for me to negotiate for me to represent you in the capacity that i want to i need to know your position to do justice how much of rope do I have? If you want me to get you the best, but your halat is absolutely tight, it's not possible. Because then it is a period of three months, two to three months of just negotiating, getting the diligence in place, getting the documentation in place, getting the process in place from the date of the term sheet till the day the money comes in is a three month average. Two and a half, two, two and a half month pakal do aap yaar. Bichai. Kabhi kabhi three month bhi khid jata hai. So wo situation mein agar bande ke paas ek saal ka runway hai, wo alag tarikhe se dekhega. Agar bande ke paas teen mahine ka hi runway hai, wo alag tarikhe se dikhega. So, I would say one mistake which I have constantly seen happening, to answer this very specifically, founders don't analyze the runway and therefore set expectations in terms of negotiation that way. Mm. So what so happens when you say is, negotiations, you are talking about negotiations with investors. With the investors. Because rights are in your documents. Mein aate. Us time pe kya hota na, fir frustration shuru ho jata. Kya, itna time kyu lag close hone mein? Why is it taking so long? Har point pe hum lar rahe, har point pe kyu lar rahe? But aapne pehle nahi bataya ki bhai aapka position kya hai? Agar aap pehle bata do aapke advisor ko that do it quickly, you know, do it, do it close, fast, do it, do it in a manner which matters. It's possible to then advise accordingly. So mistake wise, I would say they don't calculate their own thought process and then tell the advisor this is what I need. And they underestimate the thought process of documents, jo hai, it's always our worst case scenario. You also have to wear practicality as a hat. You can't say that all corner cases I will cover and the investors are going to be very happy and say, this is my money and document will be in your favor. So that halfway house is very important. A good deal maker will always tell you, Vijay, a deal is a deal when it's a halfway house. A deal is a deal has to be a deal for both parties. It can't be a one-sided deal. If it's a one-sided deal, the litigation teams of both parties get very busy and they're very happy. But that's not the way you make deals. So that's the way I would put this. Mm. So we have all seen Shark Tank, right? And what I was looking at is, and one of the things was like, uh, when, when I was seeing founders giving away equity, just, you know, like giving 30%, 40%, 50% of the equity. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? Uh, do you often see this short selling of equity? from the founders and why is it so that you know people do, is it that people don't understand the value of equity early on because they have never done business or like why what is it that people need to know about short sell, selling of the equity like I, I you know in my opinion that's like something that you should really protect, protect right your thoughts on that absolutely yeah. as a founder you're very right all you have is your equity yeah they were shark tank and now shark tank is because of the shark being there's the first part but let's leave aside a formatted show right let's leave aside because you know, shows have their own benefits yeah, yeah, because yeah. there's visibility, there's brand, there's several other things that come into play. Reality mein, what is short selling or underselling? It is about not understanding ki bhai, aapko kitna paisa chahiye, kitna tak grow karne ke liye. Mm. And kab aapko raise karna chahiye aur kitna raise karna chahiye. Mm. There is a FOMO with a lot of founders ki yaar, mere competitors raise kiye ja rahe, yeah. entry level barrier badta ja rahe, if I don't get the money, I am out of the game. And that FOMO is where you start going across and losing the thought process to say, yaar, ab jaldi race karna hai, to chalo, yaar, discount deke bhi apan le lete. 
बट एज यू वेरी करेक्टली स्टेटेड यार आपका एसेट तो आपका इक्विटी है सो हाउ मच इज राइट अमाउंट दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर How much do you raise after reaching a particular target? Mm. And how do you how do you make sure that how much is right? It is very bespoke. मतलब आपको analysis ये करना होगा कि when when anyone is in a business, you have enough contemporary cases. आपके बहुत सारे similar companies हैं जो raise किए. कोई मचा दिया होगा, कोई किसी का फट गया होगा. You know, somebody would have been superb and not had no external capital raise. Somebody would have had by the time you are in Series B, some eight investors already. so you have to understand that in your business bespoke what suits you what is it that the vcs are looking at what is it that the pe's are looking at because vc plays very different pe plays very different a venture capital looks at it a very different hurdle rate very different return on capital private equity looks at it a very different hurdle rate very different capital because growth capital hurdles are very different right so you have to understand ki yaar mujhe agar right valuation chahiye it is not just about getting money quickly in the bank as much as it is about doing the business in a particular manner to say ki your profitability dikh raha hai ki nahi market penetration dikh raha hai ki nahi customer acquisition dikh raha hai ki nahi aur kitna kam cost hai customer acquisition ka there are lot of nuances around it right but what is the biggest problem and i am going to lead this to another point because you mentioned shark tank see what happens which is when your skin in the game becomes so low because you got so diluted it's also very easy if things don't happen the way they are supposed to that suddenly a founder is carved out of the company that he has created mm. so you have to understand the power of your equity because equity contract chhod ke law mein bhi legislatively also you have certain powers which keeps on diminishing with your dilution going down so it's very important therefore to build on the basic ki aap tabhi paise uthao jab aapko growth ke liye zarurat hai जब आपको बहुत आगे एक लेवल स्केल करने के लिए जरूरत नॉट बिकॉज इट्स प्योर फोमो ओरिएंटेड ग्रोथ कैपिटल इन माई माइंड नॉट ने पांच लोगों ने उठा लिया पैसा मैं मिस हो गया मैं तो गेम से बाहर हो जाऊंगा बट रियालिटी इज दैट दो फाइव पीपल मे गो बेली आप बिकॉज दे मे नॉट डन वेल बट इफ योर बिजनेस इज सॉलिड यू आर बाउंड टू गेट अ बेटर वैल्यूएशन इवन इफ इट्स लेटर So it depends. It depends on entry level barrier. How much is it growing? Your product is how unique? Your service is how unique? There are a lot of complications. Hai. But as a founder, you know best that the purpose of the capital has to be to be able to add value to the business and growth of the business. Not in terms of just saying that I need gunpowder to be there to do X Y Z. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. So you mentioned about you know. founders diluting too much of equity equity and then you know having problem with the boards and then kicking you out right so we have an example of bharat pay for instance right so ashneer grover sort of being kicked out whatever the reason might be right so in in such cases like how founders can sort of protect their own thing see i won't comment directly on that particular matter but i'll tell you on a similar thought process yeah. around it and yeah. i i don't think again you know maybe one part is that whether he's kicked out or he's resigned yeah. there are two different yeah, elements yeah, yeah. around it mm. बट आप ये सोचो कि वॉट कम्स टू द सिचुएशन फॉर थिंग्स टू हैपन इन दिस मैनर इट ओनली हैपन्स वेन एज अ फाउंडर यू आर अ माइनॉरिटी फाउंडर पॉइंट नंबर वन पॉइंट नंबर टू आप कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में कुछ भी लिख लो लेकिन अगर वो प्रोसेस ठीक से डिटरमाइन नहीं हुआ इन योर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एज टू वॉट इज कॉज बिकॉज टर्मिनेशन फॉर कॉज इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट एंड टू से दैट investors only will decide the essence of cause or the process will be determined by a board where you have no say obviously there is a conflict of interest saying yaar agar aap pirit insano if you are the accused person you can't also be the person who's deciding in fact but do you have the right to dispute the finding rather than disputing the process do you have the right to have certain establishment processes saying that kal ko uthke na mujhe nahi laga yaar bejay ka ye t-shirt color mujhe pasand nahi aaya तो मैं उसको फायर कर देता हूँ इन्वेस्टर घूम के बोलेगा यार वी आर ऑल्सो नॉट स्टूपेड यार हम तो यार टी शर्ट के लिए तुम्हें नहीं फायर करेंगे mm-hmm. आपने कुछ किया होगा तभी हम होंगे सो बोथ पर्सन हैव द पर्सपेक्टिव नाउ वेदर दैट पर्सपेक्टिव इज फेयर और नॉट इज एट द सिचुएशन दैट टेक्स प्लेस द कॉज ऑफ एक्शन एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम उस टाइम पे ना ओनली द पीपल हो गोइंग थ्रू दैट अंडरस्टैंड नो वन एल्स कैन बाहर तो आवाज बहुत है नॉइज yeah. बहुत है देर इनफ पीपल विल जज डिफरेंट थिंग्स एंड टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट थिंग्स बट रियालिटी ओनली द पार्टी इज डिस्प्यूटिंग नो सो the justice that you have to do as advisor to your client and i am going to talk more from a founder perspective because mostly i advise founders 
as someone who is advising a founder ensure that your document for your founder has enough protections at different levels to say that things need to be established in a particular manner through a dispute resolution process as against a finding which decides what x y z can take into consideration on say that a penal action can happen on a finding so i think bahut sare situations aise hote hain so founders need to start understanding one thing aap jab lawyers ko bolte ho ya aapke counsels ko bolte ho yaar itna mat lado aap ulta ye bolo ki aap sirf jaiz baaton pe lado you know the problem with most uh, advisors vijay is they believe in this philosophy my comma is prettier than your comma whereas my philosophy is i don't care whether your comma is prettier than my comma as long as the deal doesn't get a full stop so the whole thought process is fight for things that matter but ensure there is parity for both parties when there is parity na everyone will respect each other end of the day it's about ensuring see these kind of cases that you have mentioned are an aberration they are not the norm har din aap nahi sunte ho ki yaar ye ho chuka hai it is a corner case and lawyers are there for corner case management documents are made for corner case management but have parity in the document make it balanced make it fair for both parties yeah. just because check cut raha investor should not bulldoze just because founder company chala raha should not think that investor at the end of the day is nothing but a joker aisa nahi hona chahiye you have to have both aspects together yeah so one of the things is because as you said right you you sort of represent founders and try and protect their uh, mostly, mostly mostly i, I, mostly I have i represent quite a few funds <laughs> as well but yeah, yeah mostly founders mostly. yeah or let me put it that way that is something that you know that's close to your heart yeah yeah me being an entrepreneur that automatically is close to my heart yeah. you're right um so are there any any tips or suggestions for the founders when it comes to facing the investors or maybe you know when they are trying to raise funds maybe on the negotiation table or anything around talking to investors and sort of trying to raise funds like something to things to keep in mind so i i i'll tell you honestly what in, you know investors appreciate other than the fact that you're supposed to know your business in and out and you're supposed to know your numbers in and out and that's not something that lawyers are going to guide you on i am again a little <laughs> non lawyer lawyer so i like talking about those aspects but but other than knowing all of that what what investors appreciate is a clear view from your perspective as a founder to say that there are certain things that really matter to you and those should be stated up front so that when the term sheet comes to you some of those aspects are taken care of For let me example, give an example yeah personal liability there's a reason you're running a company and there's a reason the investors putting in money in the company they're not giving you loan on a personal basis the money is not coming into your account so personal liability needs to be carved out obviously there are carve outs to the carve out like for example a fraud gross negligence willful misconduct those are the few caveats that are there but leaving that aside other than those very very fundamental elements personal assets of founders should not come into play personal liability of founders should not come into play it should only be limited to your shareholding that's a very important element second when you look at liquidation preference very important clause always ensure that you factor in a construct to say that liquidation preference has to be linked to the limit of either higher of the amount that they are put in or their shareholding stake at that point of time it should never be more than 1x because then it comes out of the founder's pocket so you have to protect yourself on that you have a concept called anti dilution which is basically when there's a down round which means that the company is not done really well they need to get protected the protection should always be through an issuance it should never be through a secondary transfer so that it does not factor in the crown founder shares there are there are several you know yeah, i can go sure. on and on yeah. but fundamentally what a founder should be clear about is to say that i want to have and this is where i i would look at it mota mota like broad base for your audience to understand in a non legally and simplified manner it is your company bijay aap chala rahe ho so the ability to run it freely the ability to have board control till a particular level because you don't want people to randomly control your board the ability to go across and have protection on personal liability the ability to go across and have certain aspects of corporate governance which you are factoring in even though within the realm to ensure that you're not shut out of your own company and all of this then becomes very important to look at it with a different lens when you're a minority founder the day your shareholding becomes lesser than 50 how do you start looking at lenses there aapke protections aur badhne chahiye aapke rights aur badhne chahiye those are different things you know promoter veto rights promoter representation promoter ka aapka director ka position quorum position was a bahut you know for them they need to come to me <laughs> but besides that i'm just saying yeah. that these are the things that matter as a founder 
बी वेरी क्लियर अबाउट सेंग कि यार मैं ना हर चीज में नहीं लड़ूंगा लेकिन मेरे को पांच से छह ये पीस बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज यूर फर्स्ट टाइम दैट क्लैरिटी इन्वेस्टर्स अप्रिशिएट दैट बिकॉज एज यू ग्रो देन योर सी यू नो द कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक यू सेड यू नो इन योर बिजनेस ऑल्सो पुश वर्सेज पुल जब आप पहले जा रहे हो ना फंड रेस करने आप पुश में हो बिकॉज योर पुशिंग एंड सेंग यार मुझे पैसे दे दो when you raise three rounds and you're the person people want to put money on then it's pull your choice and your say is much more na absolutely so you mention about you on entrepreneurial journey right so you were working at a farm and and obviously you don't come from the background of entrepreneur sir you know uh, anyone being in the business right you know how did you sort of deal i'm sure you had that fear of insecurity in a sense that hey you know what i'm going to quit this six figures Eight uh, figures, actually. Eight figures. <laughs> <laughs> yes, eight figures job, and then I'm gonna start something which you know where you don't have sort of a security that you have at a job, right? How did you sort of navigate that the whole period and take us through like what was going on ahead, uh, and what made you believe that this is gonna work? I'll be honest with you, my background made me believe it. क्या होता है ना when you're hungry and you've seen hunger. then you realize the value of even two rotis it doesn't matter if the cake is in front of you what do i mean by that see when i come from a very simple background mera kahani thoda bollywoodish hai which is a separate chapter i don't want to bore you with my story but to make put it simply my journey has seen me live in a dormitory with 24 people in one you know stuck up room with one broken indian toilet to today running a law firm with almost 65 70 odd people and hopefully amongst the go to firms in the country what it does when i is it it allows you to not get awed by anything kuch bhi ho jaye matlab i'm sure vijay at the end of the day from your life you've gone through right you've seen the highs and the lows and today you you've spoken to so many people farak nahi padta na because you've done this this is your passion mm. if some let's say tomorrow even if maybe hopefully i'm pray for it that this then modi ji or whoever is the prime minister sits here you'll not be tongue tied even then because you're so good with your work so when you when you struggle from the days of having nothing to be able to build where you are and what you are you don't get awed by anything when you're not awed by anything phir lagta hai yaar kuch bhi ho jayega yaar mm macha lenge we'll manage it fight to mari lenge mm so when we decided to start up it was three of us mm-hmm. me and my co-founders one of my co-founders is also my better half and two associates in a 300 odd square foot office with mm. a one part time cleaner <laughs> because we couldn't afford anything more hai na because bonus bonus to mila nahi tha salary bhi kat gaya tha kyunki chhod ke ja rahe the firms mein se to hota nahi hai but the thought was ki yaar fight maan lenge we are employable if your partners in large law firms means you are more or less employable job mein to you can go any day back ha ah, matlab employable yeah. to hai hi yaar yeah so yeah. that was my thought as well yeah. by the way like hey, you sure. know i can go back to the job whenever whenever i want like the job can wait correct the job yeah. can wait yeah. then another thought comes in yaar ki अगर सपोज करो आप नौकरी में सौ रुपए कमा रहे हो आपको क्या सौ रुपए चाहिए जीने के लिए डू यू नीड दैट एंटायर हंड्रेड रुपीज टू लिव देन द रियलाइजेशन डॉन्स ऑन यू दैट यू डोंट नीड हंड्रेड रुपीज टू लिव यू वे पर हैप्स नीड फिफ्टी रुपीज टू लिव द रिमेनिंग फिफ्टी स्प्लिट बिटवीन एक्ज्यूबरेंस इन्वेस्टमेंट्स स्पेंथ्रिफ्ट लाइफ ऑल ऑफ दैट सो हमने बोला यार ये पचास हटा देते हैं अब पचास बाकी रहा देन वी सर यार फिफ्टी ऑल्सो डू यू नीड टू लिव फिफ्टी में भी यूर लिविंग अ कम्फर्टेबल लाइफ स्टाइल चलो थोड़ा डिस्कंफर्ट कर लेंगे 35 में लिव कर लेंगे यार 35 तो कमा ही लेंगे दैट्स अ रियली गुड वे टू लुक एट इट बाय द वे लाइक यू नो जस्ट फिगरिंग आउट हाउ मच मनी डू आई नीड टू सरवाइव एंड यू नो एंड आई कैन सो रिलेट विद दैट रेजोनेट विद दैट व्हेन आई मेड दैट डिसीजन टू क्विट द जॉब आई सेड दैट ओके राइट नाउ आई एम स्पेंडिंग एक्स बट लाइक इफ आई रियली डोंट हैव मनी देन आई कैन लीव विद वाई व्हिच वाज ऑलमोस्ट हाफ ऑफ दैट एक्स राइट and now do i have that why in my bank account for next 6 months in 6 months i will i'll figure something out 6 months is like quite a long time right? so that's a that's a really good way so that's the way it. we looked at it and we said yeah we'll survive that much we learn god's been kind we've not had to look back and that 100 that we used to earn has perhaps become several zeros beyond that it doesn't matter but what matters is that we had the guts to take a call and take the plunge and thereafter we had clients who backed us and believed us and we have grown from those three people in a 250 300 square foot office to 60 65 people four offices across the country 
based out of Bombay, offices in Gurgaon, Bangalore, Pune, and hopefully we'll keep growing further. So, what are some of the most beautiful reasons that you have sort of encountered with the sort of people that you have worked on? Why they do what they do? We earlier talked about like, hey, you need to know why you want to become an entrepreneur, right? What are some of the most beautiful? And if you want to, you know, maybe take some examples with some of the encounters that you have had with some of the founders of the country, whom you yourself like look at with high regards, like, hey, you know what? I love this guy because, you know, the way this person thinks is not something that I've ever heard anyone share before. So if I have to name anyone specific, that will be unfair on all my clients. Yeah, I sure. love all my clients. Mm, yeah, <laughs> and I, I love all the founders who I represent. But I'll tell you one common element between yeah. all of them. Yeah. and somewhat in you i see it in you also you know it's evident we are all mad you have to have a certain degree of madness to say that boss i want to become an entrepreneur in this country yeah why do i say so because being an entrepreneur is not easy yeah you think you're starting a business because you want to do the business but nobody realizes it's not just about that besides that right from your shops and establishment registration to your gst to hiring your team to motivating your team to retaining your team to running for cash flow to procuring business procuring customer paying the electricity ensuring that the toilet is clean the list is endless okay so so i i say this in a, in a lot of lot of places that i speak once you're an entrepreneur you get a lifetime membership to this club called the empathy club <laughs> you realize suddenly that boss everything that you took for granted there's nothing you oh, jo, you know, you you've very nicely given me this mineral water bottle but yaar ye mineral water bottle na i would take it for granted a job yaar pani thanda kyun nahi hai but when you do yourself you realize yaar yaar iska crate ka bhav kya hai agar hum teen crate khelenge to 1 rupya kam hoga per bottle that is the beauty when you look at your visiting card यू वुड से क्या नाइनटी जी एस एम और हंड्रेड टेन जी एस एम में थर्टी फाइव पैसे पर कार्ड में फैक्टर होता है जब आप हजार कार्ड पैक करोगे उतना फैक्टर होता है सो एम सिंग माइक्रो एलिमेंट्स स्टार्ट अप्रिशिएटिंग थिंग्स यू स्टार्ट अप्रिशिएटिंग माइक्रो एलिमेंट्स सो यू हैव टू बी मैड यू हैव टू हैव द अबिलिटी टू से दैट आई हैव अ पैशन टू डू समथिंग बियॉन्ड एंड मोर टू बिल्ड समथिंग बिकॉज आई एम ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड समथिंग डिफरेंट टू से दैट आई वॉन्ट टू बी अ फायर स्टार्टर एंड हैव अ पार्थ ऑफ माई ओन Yeah, I have heard a lot of people say very nice. Itiko, there's not nothing bad about it, right? You have to also belong to an organization, and you feel you're a part of the organization, and you say we, 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 and yeah, we have done this, we have done that. But us we, me na, apko har mahine ke tis tarik me pagar jab aara, we bolna bahut asan hai. <laughs> But us tis tarik ko when you have to write the check mm. na, tab jab we bolte ho, feeling bahut alag hota hai. So, so the whole idea is about, and I see this common in majority of my clients. they are all crazily passionate about what they are building they are crazily passionate about what they want to build and how and where they are going some of them i have had relationships where they came to me believe you me vijay when they couldn't even pay me for a founders agreement you know toote hue cup mein chai pilaye the unke office mein mere office mein aake chhota sa plate mein maggi khaye the today those guys have raised more than 150 200 million dollars they are the largest in the space in the country and the friendship that we cherish because we have been there with each other from when we were nobody yeah it's different so wo jo cheez hai na that chutspa mm. of doing things differently is a commonality within entrepreneurs and that madness that passion to do something differently is what makes you ahead of the curve or separate from the curve or separate from the herd if you don't have that madness like i see this madness in your eyes hai na ye pagalpanti agar tere aankh mein nahi hota you get tired after 2 years 3 years of doing this yaar kitna bak bak sunega how many Absolutely. how much of how much of this will you listen of people after he say kya ho raha hai but i'm sure with every time you do it you love it yeah absolutely because this is what you are born to do man this is what you believe in this fire that i see in your eyes this fire that you'll see in my eyes when i'm advising somebody that fire is what makes an entrepreneur different and that is why i keep saying our country is just at the cusp of entrepreneurship we are just starting the next few years the next 20 30 years see earlier ko tha na think of it this way did you ever think of it this which that bachche jab bade hote like when i was growing up you know in my family i am still the black sheep after all that i've done why my father's an msc gold medalist from allahabad university my mother's an msc gold medalist from banaras hindu university 
आई एम अ बी एल एल पी तो हमारे वहाँ कहानी होता था कि यार जो जब लड़का निकम्मा है ना कुछ नहीं कर सकता वो काला कोट वाला बन जाता है सो दे डोंट अंडरस्टैंड द डूंसेस ऑफ फैंसी लॉ नाउ बट जब लॉयर बोलोगे ना इन पुराने ख्याल के अरे काला कोट पहन के कोट जाता है बच्चा बट द रियलिटी इज वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग से थिंग्स हैव चेंज टूडे पीपल डोंट वॉन्ट देयर किड्स टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर और इंजीनियर और एम बी ए और अ चार्ट अकाउंटेंट और अ लॉयर बिकॉज दीज आर ऑलरेडी देयर एज ट्रेडिशनल और दे आर इक्वली हैप्पी फॉर देम टू बिकम एन ऑन्टरप्रनर we see people whose kids have passed out school passed out just college graduated bachcha kya kar raha hai what do they he's an entrepreneur they're doing something on their own they're building some and parents have pride in their eyes and now right now is you know at this point of time with things like shark tank going mainstream and you know now now conversations around entrepreneurship become dinner table conversations this this is just like in a sense of, and i i sometimes think like this is a beautiful beautiful place in this country right now to become an entrepreneur and also um the kind of funds that's flowing in the country right now right uh, where people are supporting the ideas that are really really and as you said right that fire and that passion to do something different where you are willing to bet everything for that idea absolutely see i i'll tell you what shark tank has been a blessing for this country why forget anything else about see a show is supposed to be yeah, fun absolutely but yeah. leave the show aside i have several other sharks there who are my friends and clients as well what has done is it's made ghar ghar mein the concept of entrepreneurship understandable that is priceless ek tier 3 tier 4 ke city mein bhi aaj maa baap samajhte hain entrepreneur ka matlab kya hai yeah. otherwise if equity you told equity ka matlab kya hai equity ka matlab kya hai company mein invest karte hai log iske yeah. so people this these things are unheard of it has gone door to door so it is a celebration we should celebrate this we should celebrate the moment the motion right now because This is just the beginning, yar. Abhi to bahut kuch hoga. Dekho, like you said, very beautiful thing you said, Vijay. You said India mein na funds ka bhi abhi kam hi nahi ho raha. One of the ways to look at it, and you should do this to see, ki how many of these funds have now raised their fund two, fund three, fund four, and how much of the size is increasing, the delta. Ek 100 crore ka fund, fund two banana hai 500 crore ka. Ek 500 crore ka fund, fund two banana hai, fund three banana hai 1000 crore ka. Why? Because the LPs are betting on the same fund because the returns that have gone from the Indian. Entrepreneurs and the Indian portfolios. So the failure to hit rate, the hit rate is much higher here. Wow! Mm. And India is nascent when it comes to private equity and venture capital. If you compare it to the US, we are just a twenty-year-old in terms of this twenty, twenty-five years. Usse purana nahi hai. US, this has been going on for donkey's years now. Here, we have just started seeing. So imagine the next twenty-five years. Kya hoga? India does not see too many leverage buyouts, too many management buyouts, too many complex structured by private equity buyouts because wo stage and scale abhi aaya nahi. Kuch kuch hote hai, but wo stage and scale abhi aaya nahi. We have been lucky to advise a few also, but there are again aberrations. The next 20, 25, 30 years, this country is going to be in a different form and children will parents will be proud to say my child is not a doctor, not a lawyer, not an engineer but an entrepreneur. Yeah. And also because the opportunities that all of us have today whether that's with internet and all the tech advancements that's happening right now right so while we have been in the phase where you know we started as a hunting right where i worked for myself i would go and hunt for myself and then we started moving to agriculture where we started coming together and then the industrialization happened where we started working for people and people started taking control and then you know people sort of you know master and slave kind of a thing uh, for the lack of better word and then that's happening with all these big laws organizations and also if you think about it what's now also happening is now giving power for every single person to be entrepreneurs where i am an entrepreneur i am using your product and you are using mine where i don't have to work for you and you don't have to work for me correct absolutely right? absolutely and and barter system which you're talking about let's say it was age old yeah. today the barter system is also factoring in cross synergies cross clientele cross customers and this cross pollination of synergies is what makes it an ecosystem aap ecosystem jab kehte ho what is an ecosystem it's about people supporting each other celebrating each other and factoring in growth for each other hai na and that's the beauty that's the beauty of our times today as i said you know you and i we are we are in the thick of things agle 20 25 30 saal mein you will see a new age of india it is incredible what is happening right now Yes, there will be ups and downs. There will be situations. There will be macro events across the globe which will impact. 
there will suddenly be a situation of a little bit of spookiness price corrections uh, you know term sheets will be given and then renegotiated all of that will happen but will the spirit and the trajectory be the way it is it will because abhi to shuruaat hai yaar there's tons to do tons to do i'm going to quote your tweet now one of the roles entrepreneurs need to emulate is that of the gardener explain this see the whole thought process about you as an entrepreneur you have to also understand the most powerful realization is about understanding the dispensability ratio the world my friend is a graveyard of indispensable souls mm mm-hmm. you know aap apne aap ko agar founder samajh ke bolte ho main you know there's this kahawat hum hi hame baki sab mein pani kam hai so if you if you go through the thought processing here it's me i myself i have built this i am the brand then after that some day there might be a situation where you and the brand are separate the whole thought process has to be about are you building along with you along with your co-founders the next level the next to next level the next to next to level where everyone feels that they own a piece of the company where everyone feels that they are a part of the journey why do i say the role of a gardener a gardener can make the garden bloom or a gardener can make the garden a barren land mm. if you want to be a company which grows stays sustains strives and continues you have to take the la- role of the person who blooms you cannot say that it's only you who's running the company you are as good as your weakest link let's be very honest vijay aaj you're doing a fabulous job of this particular business but can you do it as well if you were alone mm. answer is no absolutely no yeah. right from your technician to your studio guy to your designer to your business partner everyone plays a role and everyone's equally important absolutely yeah so you realize that and that's when you realize how delegation of responsibilities duties power and most importantly acknowledging the and that takes a lot of humility huh acknowledging the fragility of yourself as an individual today as vertices we are who we are we are known to be the go to founders councils but is it that they are coming only because it's me or only because of my co-founders i couldn't have done one tenth of what i am doing if it wasn't for my team yeah absolutely i'll give you an honest example yaar aaj hum saal mein 70 se 100 transactions karte hain you think i can do it alone <laughs> i can't so i have to as a founder acknowledge the fragility of myself to say i am not indispensable i am dispensable it's a really good way to think about it yeah and as long as i build me and similar to me and perhaps better than me people around for the firm for the company the company is going to grow end result as a founder you have to realize and investors also have to realize company is above everyone so when you focus on the company everyone's a winner when you focus on your individual elements depends on whether you're a winner or loser so that's the meant that was the meaning of when i tweeted that that that's, you have to be a gardener that's beautiful um in a completely different context vinayak you know you were bullied when you were a kid you had your own journey of weight loss from how, how many kilos were you i was 152 wow <laughs> and now how so i've lost a, i've lost a, approximately more than 55 kg wow. so yeah that's insane right um i'm sure you know you must have been through your own journey of self acceptance and this is completely different from entrepreneurship chat that we have had, that we have had and i'll i'll also give you a bit of a context on why i'm asking this question okay i had to go through this journey of self acceptance and whether that's the way i look the way i talk or my personality or whatever that is right or the person who i am at the core you know having that complete self acceptance and then when i had that complete self acceptance for who i was then i started feeling complete alignment from inside out where i no more needed to appear as someone else right and when that started happening i started seeing my self confidence soared i started seeing um you know lot of possibilities and opportunity and i started feeling that oh my god like i can now do anything because i have accepted myself i'm sure you know you have been through the similar journey of your self acceptance right so so like what's been that journey like uh, for you it's it's a it's a very interesting phase of life that you've <laughs> touched upon it's a long long lost and long forgotten 
life but i think it's it's also huge learning right i'll analyze this again in two words of two lines of couplets which is my favorite jab gam ke badal chaye hum akele hi khade the jab gam ke badal chaye hum akele hi khade the jab khushi ki barish hui na jaane bheer kahan se aa gayi <laughs> so the whole thought process my friend is that's beautiful see when you are an individual a lot of as you grow up right and you very correctly stated as well how you are is a matter of fact of various things the circumstances the platform the way you come from the kind of facilities that you have the kind of exposure that you have bahut sare cheeze hote hain jo it builds you as a character there was a time when i perhaps would say was not how i am today you know i wasn't gregarious i was an introvert uh, occasionally stammer i i i had no self confidence there used to be times when i used to when i used to eat tiffin in school in up to a particular class alone uh, had no friends i uh, would enter the classroom and have a, a bunch of 100 people throw chalks at me and call me by name but i guess life mein na phases happen and situations happen and circumstances happen that change and create a different you har kisi ke life mein aata hai for me the the change point was when i realized that that is just a phase and obviously some people come and help you do something in this case a particular senior of mine made me realize what i could do and how i could do with my life including those days introduced me to what bodybuilding is mm. you know and then i gave it up and then i came back again to it and now i'm doing it again so all of those aspects mein kya hota hai aapka personality change ho jata hai mm. personality it's all you know it's so funny yaar like you said today you you're so articulate you speak with so many people you've thought through so many things kabhi aap sochte hoge aaj se 20 saal pehle when you were that 20 25 years earlier 30 years earlier when you were in that school and when you would talk in front of a dais you would still i'm sure talk but that persona would not be here today unless you went through your journey absolutely yeah so everyone needs to go through their journey so for me my journey has been a situation where perhaps that those days of when i was bullied helped me formulate myself find my inner core find my strength find the ability to change myself as a persona at a time when at particular age jab mere ko koi nobody would eat tiffin till the time in school again at a particular age where everybody wanted to only be my friend mm. so that's a 180 degree turn yeah likewise when you start in you know you when you don't go to a fancy institution when you go to to a institution which is just growing up and you're trying to go and get your degree and all of that and you land in a particular place where you're not with any fancy brands initially the perspective of people how they look to you versus who are sitting in those so called fancy brands and then when you join that and become a fast track partner do things these are these are all aspects that build it and also do you think because of that journey that we had we have the hunger that we have it will always stay and because of that journey we will forever be hungry there's also a negative point about it yaar zindagi mein hum kabhi khush nahi honge you can't be satisfied you'll never be satisfied mm. that's a huge problem that people like you and i will have we are always insatiated yaar thoda aur thoda 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 now that's a good thing also but kya hota hai and this is something which i am thankful that you are you are not suffering from but in this situation of building your story building your journey building a business the only person that gets compromised which is yourself that's what happened to me so from someone who used to play sports at a national level who played multiple sports what did you play oh i played lots i used to play tennis for the state of bengal when i was in calcutta i used to play snooker i used to play rugby i used to i used to do as i said uh, weights and bodybuilding i used to do a lot of things at that point of time to when you start your journey of career and then you build something and you're trying to break the sh- ceiling you're coming from a non entity to becoming you know a member of one of the largest law firms in the country at that point of time then bringing creating your own things and building some other aspect ye pure cheez mein you compromise yourself and another thing i which i keep saying you know you've heard of the term teleportation yep i have so yep. in life mein na teleportation hota hai kya hota hai jab aap pagar le rahe ho jab aap naukri mein ho you're in the first of the food chain 30 tarikh ek tarikh ko pagar aa raha hai जब आप ऑन्ट्रप्रनर बन रहे हो ना यू आर टेलीपोर्टेड टू द लास्ट ऑफ द फूड चेन आप तीस तारीख और एक तारीख को पगार दे रहे हो ठीक <laughs> है आप कुछ ले जा रहे हो कि नहीं वो अलग बात है लेकिन आप दे रहे हो सो दैट टेलीपोर्टेशन ऑल्सो मीन्स दैट यू ओनली फोकसिंग ऑन योर वर्क एज अ रिजल्ट वन फाइंड आई रियलाइज आई वॉज वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू के जीज माई वेस्ट साइज वॉज फिफ्टी सिक्स इंचज 
my hba one c was 8.3 cholesterol out of the world pressure out of the world so doctors turned around and said my family doctor told me yaar ek baat tha bana ek will bana liya hoga tune to i said matlab i said nahi bana to bana le because you've cut out a fast track ticket to go as fast track as you think you are in life you are going to fast track go there and i have a kid that time who was two and a half years old today is three and a half years is yaar uske naam pe likh de yaar ab ise because you evidently don't care I guess that's where the realization sets in. When you say realization, it's also about realizing, and this is where I'm going to take a yeah, I'm going to take a slightly different view. It's also very important, Vijay, to understand at one point of time in life that work is one part of your life. Your life is actually built of multiple aspects, and family, your your own space, your own health, mental wellness, happiness. they all form parts of your life they are all equally important verticals you me people like us as entrepreneurs we are all crazy to only focus on work aapko agar 24 ghante bhi de dena aapko lagega if you are in the middle of a creative thought yaar kaash din mein 27 ghante hote 24 ghante bahut kam ho rahe yaar yeah so that's i i know it na because i've gone through that yaar mere liye yaar din mein main ek din mein char char panch panch deal karta hu and mere ko lagta hai kaash yaar thoda din aur mil jata thoda time aur mil jata but that's where you realize What about yourself? What about when are you taking care of yourself? So I guess when that realization hit me, it changed me again to recalibrate. I call it recalibration. So I recalibrated myself. So one fifty two kgs got down to ninety eight, or fifty six inch waist got down to thirty six. Four XL T shirts went back to L. Uh, you know, old school college days kind of. Jo fig, you know, if I may say physique, jo hota tha, wo wapas aane ka koshish kar rahe. So at the forties, I'm trying to be like the thirties, but better than the thirties. Yeah. <laughs> but overall, I think it's important. It's a part of life, and it gives you direct ability in your own work. It gives you impact in your own work, because if you take care of yourself, you can take care of your others. Yeah. So I have a hashtag which I always believe in, which says hashtag Take care of yourself to take care of others. Which is the ultimate truth. People actually underestimate the power of. Like this. how they announce on your plane, right? Put your oxygen mask first before you can put it on someone else. And <laughs> often times, you know, we as an entrepreneur are always trying to put mask on someone else's face without yeah. realizing without that realizing we, that we have, have no mask. We have no mask. Yeah. Absolutely, brother. Absolutely. So, what is the number one wrong belief about yourself that you have held for the longest period of time in your life? Again, a very deep question. Yeah, you have a habit of asking simple questions, which are <laughs> rather deep. So I'll tell you one of the things that I held against myself, which today I personally, I personally don't care about. A lot of times in our and and people understand this, and I'm going to give you an example of my profession. That's why our our profession is a profession of confrontation. As a counsel, I have to protect my clients. I have to protect their interests. I have to protect their right. So subeh se na the confrontation starts, and one of the things that I used to always believe is that I have, I am always disliked by the other side because I try too hard to protect the client's interest, and therefore it it impacts my personal reputation. कि दूसरा बंदा सोचता है यार this guy is going to kill our lives. What I realize later on in life is that irrespective of whether you do that or not, people will always have an opinion for you. in your life now you need to decide whether you want to cut the clutter and still go ahead and doing what you do or you want to believe in the clutter and let that noise impact you so i'll give a very and i'm going to give you this one small example i have a very very dear friend of mine who's a very large entrepreneur today very big he's in his sector he runs the largest company in the country today and he once came and told me when i when i told the incoming investors that you're my counsel they turned around and said that you know please change your counsel because he's a very hard hitter and uh, we would ask you to have a different firm and that day i decided that i have the best counsel on my side and i told them that since you said this you just made it all the more sure that i never change my counsel so that's the kind of faith when you have in people that's when you realize ki yaar it doesn't matter you can't make everyone happy do your duty do it right do it for your people do your business your customers your team and then everything will hopefully have the, you know the ducks will be set in a row don't think too much just focus on what you're doing and do it do it to the best of your capability amazing this has been such a great conversation i really really enjoyed this uh vinayak i have one last question that i want to ask you sure um imagine that you're standing on a stage and this is the largest stadium that has ever been built in the history of the world 
and there are millions and millions of people on that stadium eagerly and passionately waiting to listen to you and what you have to share and you have been given only 1 minute of the time to share the most important lesson that you have learned in your life what would be the message i would i would come back to what i started the show with for me honestly and i'm i'm not saying it because i've gone through it myself but i personally believe that is the mantra of truly being able to survive and succeed and i would go back to telling everyone the day you realize the power of the most obvious being the least obvious is the day you realize that you cannot have a plan a b c it is much beyond that to say that without any plans of a b c backups can you still go across and perform build and do what you're doing does that also mean that having a self belief absolutely belief in yourself that even if everything fails i'm still going to absolutely gonna... absolutely yaar aap socho na hamare paas teen mandates the hamare paas char bande the hamare paas ek particular cash commitment tha sab chala gaya what did we do we said forget it we'll do it ourselves we went and hunted for more mandates we went and performed it ourselves we went and did the work ourselves we went back to days of our early days when we started ki hum din mein 24 ghante mein 22 ghante kaam kar rahe the 2 ghante so rahe the but we built it so the day you realize that if you stop relying on your you know so called most obvious is because if you believe that most obvious hai and they they wo chala gaya na it's like it's like a dream shattering right yeah and then you're lost but the day you realize that you can do it even beyond that you'll never be lost brother so in respect of the stage in respect of the number of people in respect of where i am my personal mantra of success is this always believe in yourself to say that the most obvious is the least obvious doesn't matter can you still make it if you can go for it because this is the time now is the time and you are the person this has been phenomenal having this conversation with you thank you so much for being on the show absolutely delightful and thank you for having me in the show and it's been incredible learning about your journey as well i'm so happy to have been here Hey, thank you so much for listening to this episode of the Inspiring Talk. I hope you learned something or got some inspiration. If you did, share this episode with your friends or family, and you can find all the links and resources mentioned in this episode by visiting show notes page at theinspiringtalk dot com forward slash one three zero. And if you have been listening to this podcast for a while, and if you have a feedback that you want to share. or if there is any one you would like to see as a guest on this podcast you can send me a direct voice note by visiting the inspiringtalk.com/speak that is the inspiringtalk.com/s p e a k speak thank you so much for listening i'll see you in the next now go out there and do something inspiring